the future to come in 20 to 30 years? Can it be predicted in the times of global uncertainty? How to map out the contours of the future so that they are more clear and bright? And what can be done by those who are today called the next generation? Today in the program, the new generation of officers in the new season of the Next Generation program. I admit, sometimes it seems to me that from my very birth I already knew that I would become a military man. Perhaps this is my mission, to be a defender of the motherland. The goal in my life is to fine-tune my work, to make it systematic, and thus make at least a small contribution to the well-being of our people. And this will be a great achievement and reward for me. Mir Biak Mendigaliev is an Army Education Service Officer. His military rank is a Senior Lieutenant. He has graduated with honors from the Military Institute of the Ground Forces. He heads the Republican Military Patriotic Movement, Jas Sarbaz. Mir Biak is the winner of the Republican Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat and Taekwondo Championships. He was awarded with medals of the First Defense Minister of Independent Kazakhstan, Army General Sagadat Nurmangambietov. He was a member of the military parade held in Moscow. I was born on June 20th, 1993 in the city of Uralsk. I graduated from a secondary school there. There are three children in our family. I am the eldest of them. After me, the twins were born, a brother and a sister. My father worked in the internal affairs bodies. He was an officer. My parents told me that when I was a kid, I used to put on my father's cap, take a police baton and go to the road. Having played enough and tired, I used to fall asleep right near the post. That is, at an early age, I showed interest in civil service, uniform and officer straps. When I look at the photographs of those times, in each of them you can see me wear military cap. My father told me that when the elders would ask me what I wanted to become, I answered that I would be a defender of the fatherland. My father and mother are very modest people. They raised me, brought me up. They are my support. I thank the Almighty for giving me such parents. All my achievements are their merit. Although I am now an adult man myself, when my father is along with me, I feel his great support, and therefore I am not afraid of anything. He is my defense and my chief advisor. In difficult situations, I always ask him for help. <laughs> I started Taekwondo at the age of five. I received my first diploma at the Sports Day in West Kazakhstan in 2005. Although I took third place there, it was my first achievement in sports. Therefore, I will remember it forever. Later, my results improved. The third place was followed by the second. In general, I never had the idea to immediately win the highest award. I adhere to this principle. It is necessary to go through all the steps of growth in turn. Then, a person will be able to gain more experience, and he has where to go from here. Sports now help me. I have a big responsibility, and I need to work a lot on myself. 
In general, each achievement teaches a person to work on himself so that he can set clearly defined goals and gain confidence in himself. There was a military patriotic club in the school where I studied. It was named OTAN. I joined this club when I was the 8th grade student. I was its member until graduation. We stayed after classes and studied at this club for about two hours. We mastered the skills of hand-to-hand -hand combat, practiced drill, learned to shoot. That is, the basics of military service. After graduation, I began to prepare for admission. I collected the documents, and later I found out that in 2011, there would not be admission to my speciality. But I did not want to go to another area, and I spent one year at the Eurasian Academy. I studied as a translator. However, the idea of becoming a military man did not leave me. In January 2012, they called me from the Department of Defense Affairs and told me to prepare documents for admission to the military institute. I was very happy, but I collected the documents and informed my parents only two days before admission. My friends also did not know about my decision, so by the will of fate, I found myself in the ranks of the future defenders of the fatherland. They say that the preparation period is the most interesting time. In the beginning, you need to go through a period of adaptation to military service within a month. I acquired in the armed forces such qualities as endurance, discipline and dedication. I learned to truly love my homeland. I graduated from the Army Military Institute on June 25, 2016 and was promoted to lieutenant. Since that moment, I have started the military service. I was assigned to the military unit, which is located in the city of Zharkand, Panfilovsky district of Almaty region. There I served as deputy company commander for educational work. I was only 23, and I trained and educated soldiers who were 35 years old. <laughs> At such a service, first of all, one should exercise not only knowledge, but also human qualities. You need to be able to understand your subordinates, help them, give advice when necessary. In 2017, I continued to serve in the village of Sariuze Kirbulak district of Almaty region. I served as deputy commander for ideology there. <laughs> In September 2018, I received a letter of appreciation from the Defense Minister and a watch for my good service. For me, this is a special reward. It is an honor to receive a gift from the Defense Minister, isn't it? And two months later, I was assigned to the service where I've been working till present. I need to justify this trust, conscientiously fulfill my functions, study the history of the ancestors who heroically defended the endless expanses of our land and talk about them to the younger generation. If young people know about this, the words patriotism and love for the motherland will not be an empty sound for them. <laughs> The main goal of the Jas Sarbaz movement is to educate a generation of young people who study the history of their fatherland, value its presence, and are ready to defend the independence of the country. Осы 
A very important event for me was a performance in front of the president at the meeting dedicated to the presentation of the youth year. I'll admit, I was terribly worried because I held a speech in front of a large audience in a huge hall. And there sat the best representatives of Kazakh youth, the hope and support of the country. Our movement was founded last November. At that time, it covered 73,164 teenagers, and now it's already 174,471 people. Young people do not join our union by order. They are driven by interest in the history of their country and love for the motherland. We hold Republican Military Patriotic Gatherings, Aibin. Boys and girls undergo various tests during these gatherings. This requires some training. Therefore, physically healthy, educated youth participate in them. In the era of high technology, young people should strive for competitiveness. Therefore, we need to be in constant motion, in search. Three main trends that we must adhere to are the following. The first one is to be modern, the second is hard working, and the third is knowledge. Therefore, additional classes are now held in schools. In our plans, the project Smart Sarbaz is scheduled. The uniforms worn by our students disciplines them, gives them a sense of responsibility. They are happy to wear it, especially boys, who immediately feel they are men, are carriers of such qualities as courage, honesty, ability to keep their word. I notice this in their eyes and actions. I consider military uniforms one of the main tools in the patriotic education of children. When you hold training with them without a uniform, they behave relaxed, but wearing uniform is another matter. If we talk about friendship, there is a wise Kazakh saying on this point. A person who has many friends cannot be defeated. I can boast that I have good friends. They work in different areas. When we get together, we usually share our plans, everyday experiences with each other, and we recall our carefree childhood. The nature of Kazakhstan is very rich and diverse. I understand that any person has a natural desire to see the world, to visit other countries. But I think that it is necessary to start better to explore your country, to get familiar to it, having traveled different corners. If we do not know our country, our nature, our sights well, then we will have nothing to tell foreign guests, nothing to compare with. I left the country for the first time in 2015 when I went to Moscow. Words are hard to convey the expressions of that trip. That year, a large military parade was held on Red Square, and I took part in it. That was a special honor for me. On this square, my grandfather took part in the parade dedicated to the 20th anniversary of the victory in the Great Patriotic War. And 50 years later, I walked along Red Square in the footsteps of my grandfather. In 10 to 15 years, I see myself as a qualified, experienced military specialist in the service with a high military rank. By that time, I will already have my own family, children. I will not mind my children following my footsteps and become military people. Every man must fulfill his duty to his homeland. I believe that my son will grow up looking at my example, my experience. That is how dynasties are created. My father is an officer, I am an officer, and if my children become officers, then a whole dynasty of fatherland defenders will be formed. Believe in yourself. Knowledge and intelligence will help you to get out of any situation, said the great Abai. 
My grandfather said these words to my father. My father passed them to me, and I, in turn, am obliged to pass this wisdom to my children. The Republican Military Patriotic Association, Jas Sarbaz, has been working for less than a year. But in this short time, it has grown into a full-fledged youth organization, which has about 200,000 boys and girls in its ranks. There is a great merit of Mary Bek Mindigaliev in this. The young officer plans to introduce the youth patriotic movement in all regions of Kazakhstan. He believes that the motherland begins with love for your country, and the first sprouts of this love appear in childhood.